This was told to us by an old gentleman, uh, Vaishnav, who lives just a couple of doors down from Radha Damodar in one of those houses that front, on the back, there they, you know, they kind of close in on the back of uh, Rupa Goswami Samadhi area. His name is uh, Hridayananda Das Babaji. And we found him because the devotee who takes care of Srila Prabhupada's rooms, I asked him to keep an eye out, and he said, this old man used to come all the time and cry in front of Prabhupada's murti there. And so we followed him home, and we found out. Uh, so we asked him, you know, in his little room. His room was just completely cluttered and full of, you know, books, Krishna conscious books. And when we asked him if he had any memories that he could tell us about Srila Prabhupada, he immediately began to weep, just like a baby, just weeping. And then he said, I, he goes, I've lived in Vrindavan. He says, I'm like 89 years old or something. I've lived in Vrindavan my whole life, and never, ever in my whole years that I've lived here have I seen anyone do sadhana like him. He said, and when I found out that Nichananda Prabhu had chosen him to go and break open the storehouse of love of God in the world, he goes, I wasn't at all surprised. So we said, well, what, what were those memories? What do you remember? He had a few memories. And he, the first one was he said, he used to uh, live in that room, and he always lived in that same room. He never moved from that room. And he said he knew that Srila Prabhupada lived nearby him, and he always saw him going in and out of Radha Damodar and saw him going on Parikrama around Vrindavan. But he was very grave. Prabhupada was very grave, he said, and very... Um, uh, not social, you know, just very walking and chanting. And he said, even when he used to go to Radha Damodar sometimes to do Parikrama, Srila Prabhupada would be either on the veranda there or in his rooms, just writing and chanting. And uh, he never wanted to disturb him. So he knew who he was, but didn't ever spoken with him or anything. And he noticed that some evenings in the middle of the night, not evening, but in the middle of the night, he. Um, he would hear this voice coming from the courtyard of Rupa Goswami Samadhi. And it would be like a crying voice, calling out, kind of um, in this very pathetic tone. And it would go for quite a while in, in the night. But he said he was usually sleeping, and he didn't go to investigate what it was. And he heard it quite regularly. And then he said one night, he heard that again, and it was a, a full moon, and he wasn't that sleepy, and he decided to go up the stairs <coughs> and go up to uh, the roof. And so he st was standing on the roof in the middle of the night, and he was looking down into the courtyard. And uh, what he saw by Rupa Goswami's uh, Bhajan Kutir and Samadhi was he saw um, our Srila Prabhupada, and he was bending down in front of the Samadhi, and he had a broom like a, uh, a broom made out of straw. And he was sweeping there in that courtyard. And as he was sweeping, he was crying. And he was calling out, Hey, Gurudev! Hey, Gurudev! Give me your mercy! Give me your mercy! Hey, Rup! Hey, Sanatan! Give me your mercy! Please give me your mercy! Without your mercy, how can I do what you have asked me to do? And he said then he realized that all those times that he had heard that in the middle of the night, that was our Srila Prabhupada performing one aspect of his sadhana there in that very special place for him. <laughs>